Is it really only a week until you leave? Mm. You haven't told me if there's anything I can do to keep things running whilst you're in Munich. Well, as a matter of fact, I've got something I want you to sign. It will give you some authority over my affairs. Come here. What can you do when you get there? I thought I'd write a novel. I try to. I've always fancy myself a novelist. I've never had the time. Now I've got nothing but. But how long is it going to take? I'm not sure. I'll set the wheels in motion as soon as I arrive and we'll stop when and if we hit a rock. But the lawyers are quite optimistic. I thought lawyers were never optimistic. That's why it's a good sign. <sighs> are we going out tonight? Rose was talking about the new band at the Lotus Club. Hmm. Well, no, I haven't. I'm not going anywhere. No? No. Michael. Oh, my darling. There you are. Well, you don't look too bad. I thought you might be a little the worse for wear. Why should I be? After only two hours sleep. My maid saw you come in. Aren't you going to tell me what kept you out until six in the morning? Well, we... <laughs> and please don't say you were talking and you lost all track of time. Quite apart from the morality, or lack of it in this situation, you do realise you are taking a great risk. What if it's the matter? Michael's vanished into thin air. Nobody's heard from him. No one can reach him. I'm sure it's just a failure of communication. If anything had happened, we'd have heard. Maybe. I just wish to God he'd pick up the telephone. He will. Come on. We ought to get changed. I did send him a telegram. I do apologise, my lady, but this came in the evening post and it appears to have been overlooked. Not to worry. Please tell me what's the matter. You seem so preoccupé lately. What do you mean you'll be out tomorrow night? I'll be away, but I don't want Mama to know. It's not very difficult. It is difficult for me to be put in a position of disloyal falsehood where your parents are concerned. You said yourself, I'm a grown woman and you're not a spy. The last time you did this, you were with your Mr Gregson, weren't you? So it can't be a repetition. <laughs> oh, my dear. My dear. What do you propose to do? It's... hard to say the words, but... I've decided to get rid of it. How terrible it is to hear that. Please don't pretend you won't be relieved when I do. You're not being fair. I will support you whatever you decide, just as Cora will and Robert. It's right. This is it. It doesn't look very right. It should say Thompson on the bell. Where he goes. If you'll wait, the doctor will be with you very soon. As long as he is a doctor. I can't go back to the nursery. Not with Mary's son and Sybil's daughter waiting there. I can't do that. I won't be able to do that. Not for a while. Not forever, I don't think.
The doctor's just... I'm afraid this was a mistake. There's no reason I'm to... terribly sorry to waste your time, but this is a mistake. It seems it was a mistake. My maid said you were waiting in here. Everyone else is in the drawing room. I know, but I thought you'd want to hear. I think I know how I can keep the baby. What? How? There's a tenant farmer whose family's been at Danton for years. I'm sure he can be trusted. This is very reckless. Well, what would you suggest? I'd suggest that we go away, you and me, on an extended trip to somewhere. Then the baby can be adopted by a childless couple in that country, wherever it may be, and they are made very happy. And the baby is happy. And you are, well, if not happy, at least free. But I wouldn't be part of its growing up. You wouldn't be part of its life. Why is my idea so reckless? Oh, my dear, where shall I start? Suppose the farmer talks. Suppose you're seen visiting his home, which I presume is the idea. Suppose the baby looks like you and people in the village notice. Suppose you talk. I left a list somewhere that I need for Mrs. Patmore. You know Lord Gillingham is here. Uh, yes, we were just chatting. We're coming now. I'm desperately trying to take control of the bazaar. Honestly, talk about herding cats. I'll stay and help if you want. You may regret saying that. And while I'm here, we can discuss a plan that I'd like to get settled. I've always wanted to speak better French than I do. So I thought I'd take a few months off, go to Switzerland and really learn it. I see. Not France. Oh, you know what the French are like. While well, Switzerland is so clean. Mm. And they have wonderful hospitals. In case we get ill. We? Oui. I wondered if Edith might like to come. Keep me company. I'll pay. What do you have to say about that? I'd like to. Goodness. Oh, well, why not? Golly, life is full of surprises. <laughs> so if you go tomorrow, how long would you be in Switzerland? Three or four days at the most. So we've not got long to prepare. I'll pay you for the first month this afternoon. But with three children, you must have most of the paraphernalia already. You're right. We won't need much. And you're quite sure your wife is willing to take this on? Margie dotes on children, milady. In fact, I'm uh, not sure we've had a last. She'll love it like her own. We need a decent story. That the parents are dead and the mother was a friend of yours or something, and that's why you've taken her in. Well, that's true, except, of course, it's my friend and not yours. But you don't want her in the nurseries here? I can't have her here. My parents disapproved of my friendship with her mother. They'd feel uncomfortable for the baby to be in the house. I see. Which is why it has to be a secret. I hope I can make you understand how important that is. I'll pay you whatever you want. But it has to be a complete secret from my family. I'll tell you what. I think it should be our secret, my lady. Ours, and no one else's. I'll uh, send a letter to myself tonight and tell Margie it's about an old friend of mine who's died and asked her no will for me to take the child. She won't question it. Then nobody but you and I will know. Mr. True, would you do that for me? For you and the little girl, my lady. Yes. I will. How comforting it is that there really are a few good people left in the world.